Since the beginning of the ancient times, paintings were a way to pass several messages. Long time ago, most of the people didn't know how to read. So painted images were a good way to pass messages to the most part of the society. And that is very clear in this painting. This painting, The Cave of Eternity, is an Italian school painting painted in 1685 by the Italian artist Luca Giordano. This is a painting that makes part of a group of 12 paintings made by Giordano as a series of detailed studies for the ceiling frescoes in the Palazzo Medici Riccardi in Florence. When we look with more attention to this Cave of the Eternity, we can find several messages in its iconography. Here, Giordano painted and presents a gathering of mythological figures associated with time and mortality. They are linked loosely together, encircled with a serpent, the Ouroboros, that is biting its own tail. Ouroboros is a symbol of eternity. In the Ouroboros, we can notice that its body is half white and half black. It alludes to the union of opposites, earth and sky, within the primordial all. At the center, we have the crowned figure that is Janos, the Roman god who looks both to the future and the past. If we look carefully, we can see that he has two faces, one looking forward, the other one backwards. He is holding out the fleece from which the three fates draw out the thread of life. Working together, they fulfill their mythological role and form a circle of their own. One plucks at the fleece. A second works it on on a spindle while looking out at us knowingly. The third, Atropos, who has the power to hand human life, is about to cut the finished thread. Above them, holding a flaming torch, is Prometheus. He was the god who, according to the Greek myth, created humans and gave them the fire which lead to the development of the civilization. The wooded figure in the Rocky Mountains background is probably Demogorgon, a pagan monster usually associated with the hell and the underworld, but also sometimes considered a god of the earth or of creation. And we can see he receives gifts from nature and fortune. Demogorgon is deeply connected with fate and fortune. Here, he is apparently receiving an orb from nature, who is dressed in green and from whose breasts milk pours, as well as a staff or scepter from fortune, who is winged and blindfolded. Sketched in the shadows of the cave entrance behind them is the winged figure of Kronos, who represents time. So this painting is full of iconography and metaphors that are connected with the cycle of life, time and eternity. Symbol of the eternal return and of life's continual regeneration, the king snake or Ouroboros is the image that best defines the concept of time as a cycle. The great year of the ancients. According to this tradition, the cosmic cycle is completed every time the stars return to their starting point. At that moment, Time reverses its order and begins to move in the opposite direction. 
With the advent of Christianity, this concept was supplanted by the doctrine of linear time, endowed with a beginning, the creation of the world, and an end, the last judgment. The king snake play an important role in alchemical tradition as well, where it represents the process of refining substances. Sometime between the 1st and the 5th centuries, there lived an extraordinary woman who practiced alchemy, known today as Cleopatra the Alchemist. She authored a work entitled The Chrysopeia of Cleopatra, which focuses on the chief goal of alchemists around the world throughout the history theories on the transmutation of the gold, and for a woman to have authored anything in that era was unique. As an iconographic motive, the snake biting its tail was used to represent eternity, and it's often associated with gods and emblems that personify time. The symbol gained particular importance in the Italian Renaissance due to the rebirth of paganism as promoted by the Neoplatonist philosophers Piccolo della Mirandola and Marsilio Ficino. The derivation of the name Ouroboros came from the Coptic Oro, that means king, and the Ebro, of that means snake. The origin of the symbol Ouroboros goes back to the Egyptians. The first appearance of this symbol dates back to the 14th century before Christ, found in the Book of Netherworld, which is an Egyptian funerary text discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun. An image in a golden shrine that represents the god's son and the Ouroboros. Also in the Aruban papyrus depicts the sun god in his morning form as a child. In the red solar disk encircled by the Ouroboros that is between two lions which stand for both the western and the eastern, that is to say the sides of the sunset and the sunrise, and yesterday and tomorrow, the temporal vertices of the never-ending solar cycle. Other paintings where the Ouroboros is present include the Allegory of Immortality, painted in 1520 by Giulio Romano, where the Ouroboros is present and symbolizes the eternal return and the cyclical nature of time. And also in the painting of the Allegory of Life, painted around 1630 by the painter Guido Cagnassi. In this painting the model is surrounded by symbols that represent the transience of life. The full-blown rose the hourglass, the skull, and the barely burning candles. Those symbols are found in many other Vanitas paintings.
In this painting, the woman gazes at the Ouroboros, symbol of the eternity and renewal. So one of the ideas we can conclude is that in a world surrounded by and filled with eternal life, since all is one, that has no place. Here, eternity is equated with cosmic life, which is simultaneously a guarantee for the immortality of all living beings on an existential level. For the oneness of all, however, and the endlessness of cosmic life, from which this concept of immortality is derived, the Ouroboros is a symbol which, on an existential level, takes on the character of a symbol of salvation. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Watch the video about the restoration of a painting that I am suggesting to you. Thank you for watching and I meet you on the next video.